guys this is tina welcome back to my channel so we have been working obviously on our kind of collage pieces um you know throughout these last few they're not really episodes but you know i mean i guess it is turning into a bit of a series uh so i thought we would do some more collage quickly um now so i've got a few little bits here um that i just thought we could decorate up so i've got paper bag here that I just literally I've made this from an old paper bag um you know in a small version and then I've just got some sheet music here that I've just glued two pieces of sheet music together to make you know a larger piece um I may trim this down slightly more but I thought we'll just kind of collage up a couple of pieces a bit a bit in the style of how we have done these two um, you know, so we just have a small area of kind of um, collage going on, you know, on these two kind of things. Although I haven't quite decided with the, what's it called? <laughs> Paper bag. Um, I may well collage kind of a larger, you know, the, the entire bag. But certainly for this piece, I thought we will kind of do it more in this kind of style. So I'm going to kind of leave these here. For inspiration so that I kind of remember where I'm going with this because you know me I can quite easily kind of trail off and then forget completely where I was kind of going with my project so I've got some more of that beautiful um, book page which actually I have got this piece here so I may no see I'm chopping and changing my mind already I'm going to go for this um, so if I just tear a little piece again off like that. Get rid of that piece. So you know I'm just hoping to kind of like decorate a small portion of this so I probably only need a small section of this book page. I've got obviously my um, you know uh, flowers that I hand painted, painted. And I've obviously got all the other bits and pieces that I have been working with during this kind of collage. I mean, it, it didn't start out as a series, but I guess that's kind of the way that it's actually heading. It's now kind of heading into a series, isn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, I've got these kind of pieces here that we've been using. So, let's move these pieces out of the way. And what I'm going to do is start, I think, by putting in a little section of this piece that we did before. And I might incorporate one of my, one of my red acrylic stamped flowers. So I'll just kind of tear around that like that. I might tear the bottom off so it's nice and rough and rustic like that because then that goes really nicely with that um you know that red book page it kind of picks that up really nicely uh we could have some of these flowers Let's have a look and obviously you know we've got other bits and pieces that we've kind of been using so as i've got the kind of continuity going on really um you know i'm trying to kind of stick to some of the same ki kinds of um, things that we have been using. So, got obviously this um, manuscript paper. That piece looks very white. So, I'm just going to try and find a more yellowy looking piece. So, it's a bit more kind of in keeping with the page. So, like that, that might be better. Right, I'm going to sit down. For some reason, I've ended up standing up again. I don't know quite what happens there, but as soon as I kind of click record, well, I think what happens, actually, that, that is what happens, is um, when I hit record, obviously, I have to stand up to do that. So I then end up, you know, standing up. And, you know, obviously, I don't necessarily want to be standing up. I would prefer to be sitting down. Right, I've got this kind of scrap here from... Um, one of the last videos that we did where we kind of made the little folding pocket so it just happens that this has got some of this green um, paper in it so I think this would be quite a good place to start with this kind of building up this little piece 
So what I might do is trim the top off so that it's not quite such a kind of monstrous piece that we're working with. And then that will kind of be, you know, a bit kind of better, I think, to work with. So I'm just going to uh, pop that like that. I'm wondering if we could kind of, I'm just trying to see which is the right way up for this one. Kind of have it a bit like this. I probably don't need the um, manuscript now, I'm not sure. I do want to get this um, red book page in. I like that. I think that's really nice. Does that flower look kind of, um, you know, a bit in your face there? I'm not sure. Not sure. And I've got a red postage stamp that we could kind of pop on here. Now I'm wondering if this is now heading all a bit too red. We need to kind of now get it back. Get it back from being too red. So I'm going to again fussy cut one of these little rosebuds out. like that well come on come on right Oops. perhaps I'm better off tearing this out so I just tear that like that that might work better and actually See, we could pop that on there. Put that down. Pop that there. Oops. Might then we'll just have that here, and then oh come on, if we have that here, and then I just wonder whether we could have either one of these or actually kind of um, brighten it up a bit by having one of the blue ones. So let me just pull the blue ones in. Just cut one of those out. So and by that I mean these blue ones that I kind of have hand painted. So just kind of see whether I can fussy tear around that. Fussy tear around that without tearing, hopefully, the little rosebud that's next to it. Yeah, that's it. Just felt that that needed something else to kind of lift it off of the page a little bit. So I quite like that. There is something else not quite right about that yet for me. So let's kind of have a look and see what else it maybe needs. Maybe it needs one of these butterflies. Let's try that. around that that looks quite sweet doesn't it and then what I've done is um, I did show kind of in one of my other um, well I'll call them episodes even though it hadn't intentionally been a series it has sort of turned into one so one of my earlier episodes of this collage um, thing, I'd stitched all these hand-stitched ruffles. Um, so I've got them all here and I have had a bit of a tidy up. So I've put some envelopes in this little box and managed to get these cool um, wooden storage boxes from Poundland, so uh, a shop that we have. So I'm just going to pull in a couple of these kind of green ones and just see whether any of those kind of would look would look cool with this or I have that one um, which obviously we've been using that kind of with them as well or I have those blue ones let's have a look or I've got a red and white spotty one I just did kind of a variety of um, a few different you know fun and colorful fabrics so and I've obviously got some of those little shabby sheet flowers as well so let's have a look 
again I'm I'm standing up again right let's have a look I quite like that or we could have this pink one maybe I need to take off a bit of this edge maybe that's kind of not working or maybe I need to shift it all over to the other side um, I had put it that side because I obviously preferred the sheet music that was that side but maybe it needs to come this side instead the problem is there actually isn't much sheet music on that side if you see what I mean so I think I should stick with that so I'm gonna I'm gonna glue some down because um, you know I've said before with these kind of things I'm better off once it's kind of actually you know once I'm making a plan I can't then dilly dally anymore I kind of have to go with it so pop that one on there that up there and have this down here just want to check what it's like without that whether it was better without this a piece on there you know is that red flower what's kind of too too much for the page is it kind of like too severe for the page I might stick this one on because then that's one less thing moving about because it's quite difficult when the bits are still floating around you know because it's kind of as you do things they will move out of where they were and then it's hard to kind of, um, you know, see what anything looks like when it's all still moving about the page. So if I would have that like that. I wonder if I could have that stamp up there. Oh, I don't like that looking in a straight line like that. So let's come down here. I've got my flower. And then if we were to have this maybe even across the top I quite like it down there maybe it is this piece that I'm not that happy with I'm not sure let's have a look let's just let's just cut out this other one So just cut that one out. Maybe it needs kind of a bit more colour on here. Something a bit more vibrant. So let's just have a look. I've got my little fabric pieces here as well. So you know we'll just have a look and see whether kind of it needs a little bit of a splash of Colour. I've got this tiny piece of green that I think we nearly used in the last one, but we didn't. Didn't end up using it. You know, because there's no reason why you can't just layer up the kind of fabrics down the side. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Could have I quite like that down the side, I must say. I'm yeah, quite liking that. Um let's have a look. Wonder whether we need a blue somewhere let me just have a look through the lens I think this is quite square so I might round this corner a little bit and I'm just still undecided about this what if I don't know how this would look but what do you think it kind of changes that flower doesn't it and I mean, oddly, it does look better, kind of like that. Oh, I quite like that, actually, now. Maybe not the stamp, but I quite like that flower. So let's pop that in the middle of the flower. So I'm going to pop that like that. Yeah, that definitely, I think, looks pretty cute. I'm going to pop that up there, that one there, and then I need to sort out this area here. So I might tear this down slightly 
So just go down the edge, tear it down, get a slightly, and then round it off a little bit. So it's not quite so kind of like harsh finish. Right. Like that. Oh yeah, that looks better already, doesn't it? So I'm just going to glue that one down. Okay. Like that. That's so cute, isn't it? So then we've got the blue, which I really like that there. And then if we had the little fabric piece here, oops, come on. Could have it kind of like that. What do you guys think? And then I do really like having this down here with this kind of laid over the top. So what do you guys think to that? Yeah. I quite like that. So I'm going to glue this piece down. I probably need to do a bit more stamping on some fabric, to be honest. Um, you know, a few more things stamped on some fabric pieces. It's annoying because I have got loads of pieces stamped onto fabric, um, but none are quite the right colours. And oh, you know what I'm like with my, mm, must be the right colours. <laughs> so yeah. Might have to stamp some more things, annoyingly. Right, here we go. Just pop that on, on there. And then this one, maybe here. I might actually do another little rosebud and sort of see. So I'm just going to glue this down here on the side. So again, I'm just going to wet glue it, but I'm going to kind of put quite a bit on. Oops. So it's kind of properly glued, if you see what I mean, because, you know, I want it to kind of more or less be glued kind of the whole width of the fabric, if that makes sense. So like that. I like how that looks. And then this one here to decide which is the kind of right and wrong way not that there is a right and wrong way but obviously you know I have a choice of it curving around that way or it curving around that way or I've got this one which I could actually trim this one down slightly I quite like doing these little hand stitched fabric ruffles they're kind of fun to do so um yeah that one make enough of an impact what do you think or maybe going that way up right so if I just now quickly cut out another little rosebud I think probably this darker one so let me just cut that out so you know <laughs> Although these obviously are not, um, you know, the best artwork, these are actually proving really handy on these collage, collage sheets. They're really cute to add. So, um, yeah. You know, they've proved really quite convenient. I'm just wondering whether I might prefer it kind of that way. Yeah. I quite like it like that. So I'm just going to glue this one on like that. I don't seem to have my piece of tissue that I have been dabbing up with. Oh, here it is. It just got buried under, under rubbish, not surprisingly. And then this one, I don't want to have those little um, leaves hanging off because obviously, you know, they're only kind of soft paper so you know they would be broken off torn off within a couple of uses so uh, right there we go stick that down and then I'm just going to kind of glue this one down as well so I'll probably hot glue this one on again just for speed obviously so you're not all just 
watching around waiting for it to dry there we go what do you think then I think that looks really pretty now and obviously again it's kind of in keeping with the other pieces that we have made so and I've left this long piece hanging off because then when it's kind of glued into the journal you know I mean I don't know whether I'm going to do an embellishment kit with these pieces or whether I'm going to make a journal but you know then can decide whether to leave that long or whether to cut it off personally I quite like it overhanging but you know may kind of decide to kind of um, take it off after all so that's that piece um, so they're kind of done and coming together so the next piece that I thought we'd do is obviously that paper bag so let me pull that back in so if I pop these bits out of the way so probably best that I go with just one of these oops, collage kind of sheets I think um, and kind of do it like that now as you can see these are my collage sheets but I've shrunk them down so you know I've got two here on one page so I'm just going to decide what part I'd like to have on the bag so I think probably probably like this section here so I'm just going to kind of cut around that very loosely and then I'm going to tear around it I think so if I kind of cut down here like that like that and then kind of down here Oh look, I cut that butterfly in half. I was trying to keep the butterfly on there, but never mind. Right, so I mean obviously that's kind of right, roughly the right size for that bag. But I think I'm going to tear it down so it's, you know, a bit smaller kind of thing. So I'll just tear around that like this. Tear lightly along here. I'm trying to have a little bit of a tidy up. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you could see where I'm sat, you would, well, you wouldn't think I had tidied up at all for years, you know. But I am trying to be a little bit more organised. But I have said this before, I actually find it quite inspiring <laughs> to have my desk literally piled high with rubbish because, um, you know, sometimes I'm just working on a project and then just there might be something poking out just behind something that, well, that would be just perfect for what I'm working on. You know, so it's kind of handy to leave rubbish laying around, I find. Well, that's that's my excuse and, you know, I'm sticking to it. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to tidy up too much because it may, may stilt my creativity. Yes, well, let's just say what we need to say to kind of excuse the mess that we kind of live and work in, really. I mean, the rest of my house is pretty tidy, I have to say, um, except for when the kids obviously kind of leave things laying around. And actually, my husband, he's messier than the kids. Um, but yeah, I mean, the rest of it's pretty tidy. But I've said loads of times before, my craft area is up in our loft, which we had converted several years ago. So that's a kind of family area now where we kind of all hang out. And because it's up on the top floor, and obviously nobody ever goes up there except for all of us, you know, it's not like kind of anyone visiting our house ever comes up to the loft. So um, I've got no motivation to actually tidy it up because obviously it works for me working in a mess anyway, and nobody sees it. So, so long as really the ground floor kind of looks okay, um, that's where people are going to see if anyone comes round or visits, you know. I don't really mind what the kind of rest of the... Um, well, I do mind what the rest of the house looks like. That's not strictly true. But I certainly don't mind what the loft looks like because nobody's going to see it. So, um, you know, I'm not sure that that's necessarily a good thing because obviously probably would be good to have a bit of motivation to actually tidy it up. But, you know, equally, 
it's quite nice to not have to because nobody's really going to be seeing it. So I'm wondering about that. Um, let me have a look. Just seeing what else I've got here. I've got obviously this little blue piece of fabric. Ooh, that's quite nice, isn't it? <gasps> Let's take the green off. I feel like it needs a splash of something else. Um, we have also been incorporating scraps of this Prima Ballerina kit. So I may just tear off a little piece of that. And again, I'm just kind of fussy tearing around those flowers. I mean, you know, barely, barely fussy tearing around them. But And they are quite big because this is obviously quite a tiny bag. So they may be too big for this piece. But I just thought maybe we needed a bit of a splash of, of some other colour. So I might even have to cover that bird up. Let's have a look. Well, perhaps what I should do, actually, let's tear around that here. There we go. That might be better. So, let's have a look. I'm trying to use things a little bit more on the left. Um, I don't know whether I've talked about this before, but I always lean to go, you know, to put things on the right. Now, whether that's because I'm right-handed... I don't know. Um, I was trying to leave that butterfly, but, you know, to be honest, it doesn't really matter if he's covered up because half of him is covered anyway, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know whether that's because I'm actually right-handed that I always tend to put things over on the right. So I'm trying to kind of be a bit more adventurous and put things on the on the left a little bit. But for me, I always think things look better when they're placed on the right. And I know that sounds really crazy. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Right, I'm going to stick this down. And actually, I might use Mod Podge for this. I don't know why I'm suddenly switching to Mod Podge, but... guys find that you know that if you're right-handed you tend to kind of lean towards putting things on the right or is that kind of not here or there you know is that not anything to do with whether you're right or left-handed I don't know but trying to kind of mix it up a bit because um I notice you know I do that everywhere I do it in my digitals I do it kind of here in the physical kind of work I yeah do it kind of um with everything and actually I'd probably even do it you know if you're like I don't know decorating a rim or something and you were going to put your I don't know like say you had a couple of picture frames or a vase or something to go on a sideboard <laughs> again I would automatically probably try and put it on the right hand side obviously I would move it if it didn't look quite right there but that would be my automatic place to put it it's weird isn't it Right, let's put that down there. Okay, so I definitely, yeah, definitely like it with the splash of kind of red and blue. Looks really pretty, I like that. And then we kind of have that piece of blue there. And then the fabric, I think we will have kind of across the top. Yeah, that looks pretty. So I'll just... As I say, I don't know why I've suddenly switched to Mod Podge. Maybe it was just kind of sat there calling to me from the side or perhaps I just had an urge to kind of paint my bits on instead of, I don't know, I don't know. But for some reason I just fancied using the Mod Podge, so there we go. I wonder if I should move that over a bit. I probably can't pick it off now. Right, there we go. And then I'll just place, whoo, place this piece back on there. 
well not back on it's not been stuck on there has it so far but I'll just pop that piece there okay probably should have put that lower but it's too late now and then I'm going to stick my fabric across there so right let's go let's let's get sticking so I'm just going to pop that fabric across there and again I'm just going to hot glue this on because um you know it's nice and quick so I'll just pop that like that again we'll just have the um fabric kind of overhanging at the side because that looks cool just have it like that when you've got your little paper bag in there we'll just have to um just add a bit more mod podge there because obviously I peeled that piece back up so I needed a bit more sticking down so well just got that completely stuck on um, a hot glue thread just pulled it straight onto the floor right so that looks cute doesn't it and we could could add a little something doesn't really need anything just kind of if we wanted to let's just have a look did cut out um, some hearts but I don't seem to have that many now left Oops. it's quite nice with the kind of blue flower actually down there because um, the blue just adds a little something kind of different on there doesn't it perhaps we'll pop the blue flower on Pop another glue stick into the glue gun. So we we'll just there we go. So our little collagey paper bag, looking cute. Yeah, like that. So that's how that one came out and then what we could do uh, let me just check the time see where i'm up to here Ooh, 32 minutes trying to keep these videos kind of um reasonable you know so as you're not all really bored right so what we could do is make a little piece to go into there like that now, do I or don't I keep that bird on? For me, it's a bit of an oddity because um, obviously that was on my initial collage page, but obviously with my whole obsession with the matchy-matchy thing, that to me doesn't now really match kind of the stuff that we've been making because that brown bird doesn't, you know, to me, that doesn't kind of look quite as per the rest of the things. I don't know what you guys think. Is that just me? Am I being ridiculous? I probably am. Probably being ridiculous. But it is bothering me slightly. So I've got, again, just a scrap of um, coffee dyed paper here that I have been using. So, and again, actually, I probably should have used the Mod Podge here, but I'm now back to the glue. <laughs> Okay, so that's the glue. Might as well use the brush as I've still got it there. Spread that around a bit. Okay. Then, just going to stick this onto this like scrap that I've got here. Spread it out. Make it flat, you know, so that we can make a little kind of journaling cardy tag type item. So. There we go. So I'm just going to cut that down. Like that. Put it across the top. Okay. Thin these bits. So hopefully that's reasonably straight. So that would obviously slot into there, which looks kind of quite cute. Now, 
do I or don't I cover the bird? It's oh, a bit of a struggle for me because, yeah, I mean, definitely that bird is kind of sticking out like a sore thumb for me. Um, oh, yeah, I, I have to cover the bird. I, it wasn't my intentional, you know, that was not how this, how this collage page was going. Um, but as with often, you know, when I'm working, I, you know, and I think this is kind of common with a lot of people, you know, I don't have a fixed plan. So it kind of takes shape while I'm working. And so the bird looked great on that initial collage sheet. However, the bits I have made have not incorporated any of the brown kind of, you know, it's gone very colourful now. So for me, that then, you know, no longer kind of went really. So covering that up, that's kind of, yeah. Um, kind of for me, that just fits better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got that collage page now. And so, you know, I may well you know, be able to use that somewhere else at a later stage. But for now, covering that up is definitely, you know, something that's <laughs> that I wanted to do. So I'm going to cover up this little tiny section of the bird just here with this postage stamp. And that's it. All traces, all traces of that bird are now gone. I don't know why, but that was just bothering me quite a lot. So I like that just as a tag, just how that is. Again, obviously you could stitch around that on the sewing machine or something. You know, I won't repeat myself about the situation with the sewing machine. Um, and maybe I will just pop a little flower on there to just, um, what do you call it? You know, have a bit of the fabric kind of going on. So perhaps what I'll do is pop that on, on here, perhaps I could kind of staple this as a little tap or something. Let's have a look and see how that would look in there. Oh yeah, that's quite pretty, isn't it? So, just take my fabric. Actually, sorry, because I obviously have got those few fabric pieces that I've brought along for the, um, you know, for doing these collage pieces. I then just suddenly spotted that actually I've got a couple of other fabrics that might be better. So I've got this one. Oh yeah, perhaps I'll go for this. Let's just trim a little bit off, see how that would look. Move that out of the way. So we could have that there. I'm going to keep it to the side so that I don't cover up that bird. If that were in there, that's how that one would look. So that's the stripy one. I've got this blue fabric, which, you know, if I just pretend that that's been cut, that's how that one would look. And then I've got this one, which was the initial piece. It's annoying because I obviously have got this fabric, but again, it's kind of not here, so I don't want to kind of keep stopping and starting the video while I then go finding bits and pieces so I will just double check that I haven't got any here but I'm pretty sure I haven't um or we could could have this piece so let's have a look. that might be better oh yeah that's better isn't it so in fact might it be better that way round with the blue yeah, let's have that. So, just cut that down. And again, I want it kind of quite thready. And then I'm just going to staple that on. Like that. Oh, is that blue more visible than those? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. So, let's do that. Let me just down a bit more. Oh, that was a good spot, wasn't it? Right, so just going to staple that on with the small stapler. Oh gosh, come on. Like that. 
And then, where's that little rosebud gone? Oh. This way again. Laura, are you shouting at the screen where it's gone? <laughs> Did you see it? And I've missed it. Oh, probably. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Nope, it's it's gone. It's just a mystery now. Uh -huh. Right. Well, I shall now... I should just grab another one. Oh, thank goodness I have lots that I can just cut more out. <laughs> right, let's cut along these things. Let's grab another one. And I will obviously find it in two seconds. The second I've glued this on, it will appear. It's probably sat there really in plain sight right now. Just, I, you know, rather than kind of waste time for you guys watching, I'll just, you know, cut some up on. Right, so I'm going to hot glue this onto that fabric, trying not to cover up, obviously, the blue that's visible on that fabric. Like that. There we go. Oh, how pretty does that look? And then that would obviously go into the back. Right, so we got there eventually. We have made obviously these two now as part of um, our collage pieces. So it's coming together. Gradually we're getting more and more of the collage pieces. So yeah, hope that you like them and hope that kind of you gained something from that video. And I hope you'll tune in next time. So if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and um, oh, and subscribe to my channel. And I've heard other people say this. I don't think I've ever said this before, but hit that little bell apparently. And then you get um, notifications when I upload a video. So, you know, if you'd want notifications of when I upload a video, that would all be great. So, yeah, thank you very much. And um, I hope that you will tune in again. Thanks, Anne. Bye.